changes. I like what coaches do to just continue to feed the beast. Buries it from three-point range. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 video. Yeah, no face cam today. I just want to spit straight facts to you guys. I do not want you guys to get away from the fact that the glass cleaning lockdown is back, baby. We're about to do a full build and I got gameplay at the end for you guys up against Giannis. Just to show you guys that this build is crazy. Let's get into the video. All right, so my reason behind making this video is solely because I want to look out for my bigs out there as well as I want to look out for my casual players that like to just go to the park and have fun with a build that can shoot and have some interior defense. Now, last year, my build had a lot of shooting badges, a lot of defensive badges, and it really was good with interior defense and getting rebounds. I've also seen a community twist my build a little bit and make smaller weight uh shorter wingspan builds just for higher shooting if you wanted higher shooting and no interior defense you should have made yourself a three level scorer don't mess with my glass cleaning lockdown now to all my bigs out there that want to bang in the paint whether you playing on twos and sit in the corner or you want to hop to the wreck this is the build for you now we have option one Last year, I really made a build that was solely just for running rec and playing twos. This build right here can play threes, it can play twos, and it can play in a rec, mainly because you now have more playmaking. And more playmaking means, yes, you still have your bailout badge, but now you have quick first step on gold, which was needed a lot last year. So I believe that this build is mainly dope because you don't need contact finisher and consistent finisher and all of that no all you need is alley-oop finisher if you get that badge you can catch alley-oops you can dunk on people you can quick first step past other bigs that may be a little bit slower you have the upper advantage plus you got a shit ton of defense and also you don't need 17 shooting badges this year you only need 13 because quick draw is no longer in the game i repeat it is no longer in the game now option two this is an option where if you did like my build last year and you don't really want to stray away from that you don't want to change the weight you don't want to change the wingspan you just want to play like you played last year this is the build you get eight finishing 15 shooting which will give you guys that like catch and shoot or corner specialists a little bit more love and if you are a player that knows when you catch that ball all you're going to do is shoot and not try to create your own offense by driving to the paint you only need one playmaking badge and that badge is for bailout we do not use any other playmaking badges besides bailout for a big that is supposed to be an interior defender and a shooter this is not a build that can do it all it can do two maybe three things good but not everything okay now also just to let you guys know when it comes down to your wingspan your weight your build the way you want it to look it's all up to you when we go into like body shape and stuff like that i leave it up to you guys a lot of people like burly because they want to let people know that they are a big and not some little skin scrawny little young boy coming onto the court thinking he could bang with the bigs in the paint that's seven three and and max wingspan and stuff like that now the reason why i'm tweaking the weight here is because i'm looking at interior defense i know all the bigs out there in the community will kill me they would shoot me down if I told y'all y'all don't need high interior defense. Everybody knows that. You need at least an 85 just to play around in the paint. Just to get your feet wet in the paint, you need at least an 85. So that's why with this build, I went with 275 pounds. Now, as far as the wingspan goes, that's a different story. I told myself I would no longer create a build on this game and play with it consistently without max wingspan that's every build i will create in nba 2k21 that i will be playing more than 500 part games with maybe 50 to 100 rec games you gotta have max wingspan 
Now, let's go ahead and hop into a little bit of gameplay here. Now, what I decided was, I wasn't going to go ahead and show you guys the badge setup and, and all of that. No, we're not here for that. I want to show you guys the badges that pop up when I do what I do on this court. Now, of course, I told you guys, this is a power forward build. You've seen it in the beginning of this video. So I'm going up against Giannis. I didn't want to go up against the center. I didn't want to make it that easy on myself. I wanted to go up against the best person on the opposing team. And that person is Giannis. Now, of course, Giannis is going to shoot crazy shots. You know what I mean? But what I want to really show you guys is what my player does in his leisure. Now, like I told you guys, the build that I created, yes, that was a green layup. And it was hella contested, but it said it wasn't this bill can slash a little bit like right there and kick the ball remember bailout baby bailout is literally on bronze now you don't you don't need it any higher some people do like it on hall of fame and all of that yeah that's cute but bailout on bronze works and this is coming from a big i just hop stepped passed out a shot with a big also last year my big couldn't do stuff like this catch balls on a cut and be able to create his own offense off a of pick and roll most of the time I, my big would really just do layups you know what i mean and also right here you guys notice i'm using the analog to do some of my layups i'm getting the center right but the timing is still off which is okay with me i'm fine with that but essentially these are the builds that can get you a lot of my points inside of my career as well as you can go into the rec day one, whether you're going to pay yourself up to 85 or whatever 2K is going to have in store for you, you'll be able to hit. Now, that right there was a green mid-range, but it wasn't against Giannis. You know what I mean? So, it's, it's, all, it's all good. You know, sometimes you got to swap out. You know what I mean? Some people just sub out and stuff like that. But, like I was saying, man, essentially, this build is crazy. You know what I mean? The defense is crazy. You guys know this Hall of Fame pogo stick popping up. Hall of Fame Intimidator popping up. That's what I want you guys to do. If you haven't been watching the badges that pop up for my player, I need you to watch the badges that are popping up. Because those are the badges that you guys are going to want to put on. And make sure you keep on because they are the bare minimum essentials okay now when you're playing park a lot of people do swap things out and that is a green release 10 percent in front of Giannis off a catch you know what i mean so i just want to let y'all know man this build right here is really really good and it's actually faster than i thought it was going to be i thought that since i was making my build a little bit heavier you know what i mean making a max wingspan i was thinking to myself like man this dude's gonna be mad slow but when i got into the game and i started moving around and and actually getting things right with him i said oh this build is a little cheese now also remember max wingspan which means i now have an advantage of catching passes when they are coming to the person that i'm guarding i no longer have to try to guess or spam when passes are coming i'm tall i'm i have wingspan that's all that i wanted i told myself in 2k20 I would not recreate my build for 2K20, but I'm glad that I'm able to re recreate this build for 2K21 and do what I'm doing with it because max wingspan is everything. I know you guys are saying inside the chat probably right now, inside the comment section, man, max wingspan going to take away from my three-pointer. No, I need more three-pointer. No, if you know your jump shot, you're going to hit your shots. I was playing with a 2-8 slash and playmaker that had a 69 three-pointer, and I was hitting my shots. All right, so go ahead and go ahead and say what you want, but I'm telling you, max wingspan makes everything better. It makes rebounding better. It makes slashing and attacking the rim better. It makes defense better. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Some builds with max wingspan that can shoot, it makes everything better because if you have a very quick jump shot and max wingspan, your shot is going up before a person that can even jump at you. If that's making sense to you guys, but also moving shots are pretty good. And of course, with the lock takedown, I'm not too sure where I stand with that. I may go glass cleaning um, takeover for when the actual game is coming out, because with me playing this game, I was trying to check Giannis full court. And even though I don't really have clamps and everything like that, I wasn't feeling like that rim protector badge was giving me um, any type of advantage with guarding up top. And of course, it's not supposed to, but last year, even rim protectors can sometimes check guards, which was kind of crazy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the light goal on this video, can I get like, what, uh, 
two thousand likes or something, something like that. You know what I mean? Two two thousand two K. I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.